You know how I do Just Got Out, where I review a film as soon as I've left it? Well, this is sort of similar. This is sort of a just read. See, I've just finished reading the Mass Effect Homeworld number one comic, and my honest opinion, um, this is kind of boring. Seriously, not a lot happens in this comic. You're following James Vega, and really, I don't see this story associated to this character. From from my impression of him in the video game, this is not who I had an idea of James Vega was. But so the cover is James Vega running away. The cover is James Vega running away from let's see, Mercs, police. I don't know. And the title says it's hell on earth. And that's kind of misleading because one, this takes place on the Citadel, and two, again, nothing happens in this comic book. We start off, like I said, on the Citadel. It's got the Normandy, and it's it's got the Normandy there, and James Vega is asking about his family. If, I think it's his girlfriend or and or um, sister or mother. I'm not sure. He then he then meets his friend. Uh, don't I don't think his name's actually given. Maybe it is a bit later, but I'm trying to remember. Remember, and he takes him to his dad's place, and we meet his dad, and boy, is he a douchebag! I know exact. That's exactly what I, I they were going for. But this is basically his dad is a character who doesn't want James joining the military, and bosses James about saying, "You do exactly what I say," and again. James Vega. He's bossing James Vega around and James Vega doesn't at all argue with his father or say no I'm doing this. He just goes along with it. Which I can keep on saying that's not James Vega. And also this comic, you know, we have Mass Effect. Uniting the galaxy against the Reapers, destroying evil Merc bands, and drug running. This James Vega does drug running in this comic. He goes to collect drugs for his dad, but he doesn't know they're drugs. And he finds out, that, and he ends up finding out that he's being chased by, I think it's CSEC, or actually no, it says here the SDPD. I'm guessing that's the police force. And seriously, I don't think there's actually a gun ever fired in this comic. Now, a gun is not fired in this comic at all. I mean, there's a small explosion. It's a bit of a chase scene, but really, we see this is sort of what we see. But again, I don't see this as James Vega. I see what I got from the cover was James Vega. He would be taking on an evil Merc group, or he would have been put in the wrong place at the wrong time and has to fight his way out with no armor and just is completely uh, uh, he's completely alone and has no help. This is him running away from a cop because his dad wants him to collect drugs. And the point that he 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 does the old thing that you see in films where they go into a restaurant and they, he dawns on he just quickly nicks one of the uniforms. I'm not joking. That's exactly what he does right here. He nicks some he nicks some uh, fast food restaurant's uniform and poses around in it. And it's not exactly a great size. It's just a ha it's just a cap and a uh, apron. But he he gets away with it. He gets away with it. I it's just it's just not. A, I just keep on saying this. It's not what I expect from James Vega. This is not the story I wrote. And of course, when he goes back and he finds out his, his dad was getting drugs, he's angry. Of course, he's angry. Of course, and he tells his father that fuck you. I'm joining the military, and he's. He says, no, I will not listen to you anymore. And his, and uh, look at this. His brother is, is, sorry, his father is snorting red sand. Mass Effect. Oh dear, seriously. And also he gets to see where his father knocks him down saying, no, you do exactly what I say. And I was expecting James Vega to go stand up, punch his father and say, no, I will not follow you anymore. The next page, he's moping on a beach. What? That's not James Vega. I'm sorry, but this is what I keep on seeing. I don't see this story working for James Vega. I sort of see a family issue uh, story going 
more with, I don't know, Tally or Miranda before Mass Effect 1 or before the Mass Effect events. If if this comic was based on Tally or Miranda's, you know, how Tally's trying to live up to her father or Miranda's trying to get away from her father, bef set before the events of Mass Effect 1, this would work. But not James Vega having daddy issues. Oh well. Oh yeah, and our comic also ends with Liara having a bit of a cameo. Yeah, she turns up at the end and it's... To be honest, I would. this is not a good start for the Mass Effect Homeworld comic run. I mean, con comparing to the other comics we've had, Invasion and... Oh, first con uh, the one with the Elusive Man and the one with um, Arya. Those two were really good comics. Those are those two are really good com comic mir miniseries. This is not a good start. I know these are single story comic books, but this shouldn't have been the first issue. It's really boring. That's all I can think of it really. Nothing happens. So really, give this comic a miss. And hopefully next month when we get it's Tally's story, but I have a little problem with Tally's. The synopsis I've read is Tally finds some information and is then hunted on her, uh, trying to get, and, uh, uh, let me start that again. Tally is trying to get out of her exile by gathering some information I think they say she finds on Earth. She is then, she is then being chased by an assassin and has to hide at the Citadel, which is apparently the safest place in the galaxy, but you know it has all the prejudices towards quarians. Doesn't that sound familiar? Yes, that's how we met Tally in Mass Effect 1. She found information about the Geth on a pilgrimage that Saren, uh, about Saren being a traitor and she fled to the Citadel, where Sheba found it. That's the, how we met her in Mass Effect 1. So, maybe they're going to tell it differently in hell. Maybe they'll even have a panel where they see, we see her face. Who knows, but Mass Effect Homeworld number 1, I'd give a miss. <laughs>